Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. And you can tell it's Monday because I've just filmed the whole video here without pressing record on the uh, video. So everything you're going to see I've actually done live, that's fine. But it's just these introductions which I've had to record again afterwards. So I was hoping to actually show you the packet and stuff of what I'm building today, uh, but I can't. So what I am going to show you is today we're going to be building the first part of the Hatchet Part Work trial of Build the Batman Figurine. <laughs> So I am going to tease you of what this looks like because as I said I recorded that later on but I want to have a big thank you to Jeffrey over in Caffili. Uh, Jeffrey actually you'll know from the channel he actually won the Peugeot 205 build a couple of years ago and me and Mrs. World of Wayne travelled to Caffili to meet Jeffrey and give him his prize. Well he said that this and the other trial which you're going to see tomorrow which is the German U-boat U96 um, is available in Caffili. So he uh, was nice enough to send them to me uh, and I get to show them to you today. Now these trials the next one is actually going to be out in two weeks and then the next one after that two weeks and I think it's weekly but they normally only run for four issues now what is a trial well a trial is a way for the company to have market research not only into their logistics process of making these goods and seeing what the quality is like but also to see what sort of interest there is in the community so what they do is they strategically place them around the country to see what sort of interest there is and what take up of people buying these now they normally run for around about four issues if at the end of the trial uh, when they suspend the trial you want a refund they do give you instructions how to do a refund or you can get a free gift afterwards but they don't actually tell you that it's a trial which uh I've, I've got my own thoughts on that, which is a bit weird, but these definitely are a trial at the moment. Um, but as I said, it is around the country at the moment. Please feel free to put in the comments if you know where this is or if this is in your local area uh, so people can see where they can get this from. Alternatively, they do have a website and I've put the website down there in the video description. You can subscribe to it. Chances are you're not going to hear anything about it. But again, it will show your interest that you'd like to see this model coming out. But let me show you what this is all about. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So I've zoomed out my top camera just so you can see. This is all on a card. This is how it is in the news agents at the moment. And this is what it looks like uh, from the back here. Now it's 90 centimeters tall. It's approximately one, two scale. I'll go into a bit more of the specs when we look at the magazine. So this is the brochure that comes with it. And like I said, one, two scale, 90 centimeters tall. Uh, this is what it looks like. Now it is posable. It has got articulation in uh, arms and hands. The lights light up and there is light effects on the diorama as well. So that's what that is looking like there. The cape also comes off as well. You don't need to have the cape on, but it is a complete replica of the Christopher Nolan uh, Batman. Uh, so this again is just telling you some of the gadgets that are also supplied in there. It says also supplied a Batman's grappling hook and batarangs, which can be used independently from the model, which is cool, all good. Uh, it's cast in ABS plastic, this is. Uh, and again, a few more details of the build process, which we're going to have a look at in a second when we look at the uh, instructions. But that is the brochure. Now, these trials are coming out every two weeks. It does say after that it's going to be coming weekly, but I don't think you're going to see this past issue four. This issue was $1.99 in the UK. The next issue is $6.99, and the normal price is $10.99. All of that is subject to uh, change. But as you can see here, it looks like we have got the face that's going behind the cow that we get in this one. These are the free gifts that were offered in the trial. But again, this will change when it gets into full production. So you've got your first delivery free, a tin poster, a buy and it looks like we've got a Batman bust as well but again when this gets or if it gets a full run I'm sure that those three gifts will probably change a long way but we'll have to see so let me show you the instructions they look like this once again we do have these tabs here to put them in the binder I do like those turn it over you've got your little card here that you'd give to your news agent and say can you please subscribe that to me if you don't want to subscribe online and you just want to pick this up from your news agents uh we have got what you've just seen there this is a mail order version of that if you do want to subscribe but you've got no way to get online so that's what that looks like and then this is what the magazine looks like so a lot more about batman the christopher nolan films some of the production in those films and this is what we're doing in this stage telling us what part we're working on as you see we've got the iconic cow here they are providing a screwdriver with this stage as well so this is what we're going to be having 
uh, done in the first stage. Not a lot to do, but lots of big pieces should give you an idea what it looks like. Then a little bit more about Batman in the comics there. And that's how that finishes on the magazine. So let's start the build. Now, uh, Phil over at Spruverse did make me laugh because he likes my uh, <laughs> knife safety with World of Wayne, uh, which is basically holding on top and then cutting around the bottom here. And that way you're not going to get hurt when you're uh, opening these models. <laughs> and as you can see there, this is everything you get in your first stage. And I can't just uh, go by without showing the cow. This is great. So this is like a rubbery material, as you can see. But that is looking just like that. I think that's absolutely great. Um, it is pretty much like a rubber. I just, uh, I'm just wondering how easy that is to rip. Once again, as I said, they do provide a screwdriver. I don't actually use these screwdrivers. I have my own one, uh, but it is a PH0 end. And then we've got two sides, which are obviously going to reinforce that cow so it's not flat and bendable like this. Now, the first thing I notice about this trial is that there's no markings on the screws. These are PB screws, but there's no markings. So I'm wondering if in the full run there will be a uh, marking on the screws to say what they actually are. Uh, but quite simply, this section here is just going to go on this section here. It's going to be held in with a couple of these PB screws. So let's get them in. One in that side and one in the other side. Now, we're only using two screws in this stage, but they provided four. So I'm wondering again, do we save them and keep them for next time? Or just have they put just a random number in? But that's what the cow is looking like, or the, the frame for the cow. Now I'm guessing this eventually will go inside. I'm not quite sure how, but it is going to reinforce this head up here. So that's going to be in position. But we won't know that until stage two, because that is all that we're doing in this stage. And I think the selling point of this is if you see this on a news agent's shelf, with a cow that looks like that, it's gonna spark your interest straight away, isn't it? <laughs> and there you go. So uh, this on its own would be great sitting on my shelf behind me. But uh, you know, I have always said that these figurines are absolutely brilliant. I would love to see a figurine collection behind me, perhaps like uh, an alien, we know that's coming. Uh, we've got the Iron Man, we've got the Terminator, perhaps the Batman figure. There's loads, you can have a Robocop. I mean, you can imagine, I, I, I'd have this audience behind me of one, two scale figurines, that'd be absolutely brilliant. But as, as I said, if you want to express your interest, no guarantee you're going to get it down in the video description. I have put the description, uh, the uh, link for this uh, figurine but I really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care